So this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the, like, come on. Let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code, woof. It's Windows Pro time. Righto, tell you other champs. Now the Zeus Tough Gaming FX505 is sort of like your budget entry level gaming laptop from Asus. Now the Tough brand is sort of like a weird sort of brand. I always used to buy it with motherboards because they had the server grade components, military grade components. You know, they're built for 24 seven. They had the longer warranty. They were tough, they were tough. Now it's sort of morphed into sort of like a budget sort of segment. But yes, it is budget, but it is built tough with, yes, military grade components. You know, these things are built like tank. Yeah, it's got a plastic build, but, um, you know, more testing against humidity and stuff like that yeah they are tough nuts it looks tough it's sort of got that military hardcore tough look to it and yeah don't tell anyone i did drop it but it, yeah it survived it was accidental I, I must admit but anyway what's very interesting to me about this is not only its price you know it starts at 9.99 us you can get a 17 inch model as well and yeah you see them here sometimes like the older models you know 13 1400 australian this will probably be around two thousand dollars in australia but what's very interesting to me about this is it has the AMD Ryzen 7 in this. So it's the Ryzen 7 3750H processor, 2.3 gigahertz, 6 megabytes cache up to 4 gigahertz. And yeah, this thing can game up to high clock speeds in the 3 gigahertz, no worries. It is a quad core, 35 watt part. And just putting it on Cinebench, it's not too far short of the 7750H, which was Intel's quad core seventh generation CPUs that were in gaming laptops not too long ago. Yeah, the CPU is pretty good, especially when you consider it 35 watts. And because it's 35 watts, it's not an oven, it's not loud. In fact, temperatures are very cool, you know, in the 70s, 80s, nothing crazy like into the 90s, that CPU and GPU. And the clock speeds are always staying very high, like high 3000 when you game now usually when we sit down to watch game of thrones and i cannot believe it they killed my girlfriend what are they doing but anyway usually when we sit down and watch that and i'm benchmarking she'll go what the hell is that what is that fan what's that noise yeah the noise isn't that loud because unless you have it in its turbo mode very quiet so another thing that's very interesting to me is this has a 1660 ti which i haven't reviewed before so it's the first time i've been able to review a 1660 ti so very excited for that has 120 hertz display the display is pretty decent it's what you'd expect at this price they say it's like ips level which i don't know what that means but it's not as good as you know the premium laptops it's not overly bright and the viewing angles aren't as good as like the premium laptops but at this price it's perfectly acceptable it has 16 gigabytes of ddrm nvme ssds and some of the models you can get the hard drive as well so yeah and also has a two-year warranty so it's pretty much got everything a gamer wants. This 1660 Ti, it is the biz. It's a good laptop. I would say that this CPU is very good because I like how cool it runs. I like how it's quiet. But the thing is, it would still be bottlenecking this GPU a little bit. So I expect if you get a 1660 Ti with an Intel CPU rather than an AMD, you will get better performance out of this. But that being said, have a look at the benchmarks. Pretty decent, I would say. 1660 Ti with a Ryzen CPU. I'm happy to see Ryzen CPUs in laptops now. I'm super excited. 35 watts. You want quiet gaming? This thing has you covered. It's at a good budget price. Yeah, you're going to love this thing, I think. It's going to last a long time. It's not going to deafen you. And yeah, you could do a lot worse than this one. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Would you buy a gaming laptop with a Ryzen CPU? Let me know down there in the comments. I'll catch you in the next one. Sally Ho.